Hey everyone, Alex here with a quick video. Last episode, I smashed a little portable boombox by dropping a very heavy rock on it from about 12 feet up. And I've also got this bigger one. I'm cleaning out all the broken electronics I've got. This one, unlike the last one, does work. But only the radio tuner still functions, and even then you have to use a screwdriver through the side of it to change the station. So it's pretty far gone. The cassette deck does not work, the CD changer does not work, and the radio barely works. So I've gotten the two speakers from the last boombox I did sitting on top. It turns out they did both survive this. So, yep, this is a mid-90s Sony kind of entertainment stereo system, and in about 30 seconds from this moment, it'll be nothing but a shattered pile of debris. Just for laughs, I've gotten a broken RC helicopter I also found. It doesn't work either. Propped up on top. So this definitely falls under the do not try at home category because this thing is going to get squashed flat and it is hooked up to mains voltage. I did put a GFCI on there because obviously looking at my channel, safety is definitely at the top of my list. So anyway, I've got it tuned to a local AM station. So. I'm going to crank it up, make sure all the cameras are rolling. my god oh wow i ran as quick as i could and i unplugged it let's check out the wreckage so looks like the uh definitely hit it towards the back here's the two speakers looks like they once again got away almost unscathed probably because uh oh, except for this one of course Where's the front of it? Looks like the uh, plastic speaker was stronger than the metal housing of the DVD player. Look, there is a CD in there too. The best of bluegrass disc one. Not not gonna gonna pass on that. Anyway, let's see. Here's the helicopter. Helicopter looks like it's got a bent blade. It's a little all right. And here is what is left of the front of it. So you can see that definitely was a pretty big impact. And looking around the area, you see furthest thing is probably the volume knob, which made it probably four or five feet away. Uh, there's all the buttons for the radio tuner. There's all the actual buttons. You know, those are the... Anyway, so there's the aluminum rod I was using as an antenna. Seemed to have gotten away. So, here's the casing of that speaker that was had the helicopter on it. And I looked at the slow-mo footage, and it's miraculous that this helicopter is good as it is. It almost looks like the rock just came right on top of it. And here's the main unit. There's some electronics there on the side. Can't really see much of what's going on there. It's because of the way the case is bent in. But luckily, it looks like we... Oh, we did hit the high-voltage stuff. Well, it looks like we got lucky there, because 
It's a very large transformer. And it looks like, yep, there's the fuse right there. So it looks like uh, it, where the circuit board on this broke was uh, perfect to disconnect the power from the unit. So here, this is bent in half too. That's a massive capacitor in there. There's the amplifier. That looks like it didn't get harmed. I could probably salvage that and use it for something. Well, so anyway, uh, yeah, this is obviously a huge mess, so I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.